fa- Facebook basically says they have to take every country's laws into account mm-hmm. when it comes to advertising. So they won't allow any paid promotions of anything that's, you know, in that grey area of global law. Mm. So things like um, things like hemp, for example, are not. Uh, Facebook doesn't take money for paid advertising there. Yeah. They uh they they make it they make companies do it completely organically, mm-hmm. and they they turn down any request for paid advertisement if these words are picked up. Yeah, and those words and specifically are in the website links, aren't they? Well, this is something I'm still experimenting with to find out whether it's the domain name or whether like wh- whether it's the the keywords in the domain name that Facebook picks up. Or it's the key terms on the actual web page right. that Facebook picks up. Right. So still kind of running tests to figure out what it is, but um, I mean it could be both. It could be neither, yeah. and back to the drawing board. Yeah. But but basically Facebook has a automatic crawler that whenever whenever you run an ad to a specific web page, um, the crawler checks out that web page, checks out the link, and either says yes or no based on that. And when it comes to hemp, it's, you know... Pretty 90, efficient at it. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're very quick at saying no. Yeah. And yeah. they don't really deal with manual approvals too well. Yeah, um, no. Still sending automated responses back and everything, even though it abides fully by the Facebook terms and conditions. Mm-hmm. Um the, the ad policies specifically state that, right, no medical things are allowed, no illegal things are allowed. No but, hemp consumable specifically. But awareness and advocacy campaigns are right. allowed. Yeah. So Facebook does allow, like, a- a- awareness and advocacy campaigns, which is what the ads that, for example, we'd run to our blogs yeah. would be. It's awareness. Yeah. We're not trying to promote a product that we're selling, we're getting the word out there about something. Yeah. But they're still turning it down because of certain keywords in certain places, which, again, still trying to figure out. Real touchy-feely. Yeah. Um, Yeah, and with clothing, we we haven't really tried advertising the clothing, have we? Clothing seems okay. Yeah. Because we don't have the word hemp in our name, in our domain name. We only have a very derivative street name for cannabis in our domain name, yeah. which actually helped us more than it hurt well, us, I suppose. Man, I think I think that's another cool thing to talk about, why we chose the name, because yeah. clearly we have nothing nothing to do with marijuana whatsoever. Yeah. Like we're we're not we're not promoting that in any way. This is what we're doing is completely about hemp and the industrial applications for it mm. and we we chose Kush again because of the stigma, stigma attached it, yeah. to it. And Mu- for those, much like with the show. For those of you that don't know, Kush is like a slang for marijuana, like that you smoke. So you've got some dank Kush. Dank Kush. <laughs> I feel like I feel OG like an old Kush. person saying it. Yeah. <laughs> Classic yeah. strains. Kush Classic is a strains. Kush is a type of a uh, type of canna- type of cannabis. Like right. Uh, specific like a name for a certain gen- strain. genotype i'm i'm not too sure it's yeah, right. uh you have your like you have your cushes your hazes your different types that have very specific right. tastes generally i didn't know that i thought them. it was just like a slang that you throw around mm. it's like oh i got some kush <laughs> could, talk for, could talk for hours on this I, yeah. I love i love cannabis literature in general yeah i can <laughs> Can can yeah, I guess that's a good safe. Yeah, best. But... Um, yeah, so Kush Kingdom was basically it, it's a bit of like an in your face name. Mm. So because that's... everything is the cannabis plant. Everything. Uh, yeah. The whole the whole thing. So um so what happened was we got a phone. <laughs> I'm recording <laughs> off my phone, and I got a phone call, and it just interrupted the whole video. So that's okay. Um, what can you do? We we'll were continue. talking about the name Kush Kingdom. Yeah, Kush so Kingdom. choosing choosing the name Kush was pretty much, I guess, leaning into the leaning into the the negative stereotype that was built up around this plant back 
back in the 30s. Yeah. So I, I guess because back when Prohibition happened, it was separated. Marijuana and hemp were separated, and it's why I think a lot of people have thought that they're two different plants yeah. for a very yeah. long time. But they are the same plant. But in, in the time that they were different plants, a lot of different names have come out for this one plant. Mm-hmm. And a lot of some of them have well, I guess all of them have that have a negative negative connotation attached to them, but m- more so the negative connotation comes with terminology associated with marijuana, the mm-hmm. the smokable cannabis plant that gets people high. Yeah. Still the the same cannabis plant as industrial hemp. And yeah, Kush was Kush was a, a massive name for marijuana. Uh, very, very commonly used and well known. Mm-hmm. And we 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 wanted to a- attack the stigma. Yeah. And By bring them the bring legacy. them together. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bring them yeah. together again. Yeah, united. Like, so then they're, they're no longer a separate plant in yeah. people's eyes. Yeah. And I think that's become really widespread these days too, that it's not a separate plant. Yeah. As we have discussed earlier. So yeah, that's the name behind it, mm. I guess. That's what we call it Kush Kingdom Australia. Now there are some thoughts of rebranding. Mm. There's been discussions. Um yes. not because we're embarrassed of the name. Don't get us wrong. Love the name. But there is it is a very common name. Another. <laughs> there isn't that well I think like the main thing is that um if you type in Kush Kingdom into Google, what you're gonna get is the Kingdom of Kush, which it was like an ancient um Egyptian Empire or something like that. Like there's an actual place called the Kingdom of Kush. And mm-hmm. um so it by far outranks anything that we can possibly do. So if you want to like find this, you literally have to type in Kush Kingdom Australia. Otherwise you'll be hit with like with like historic pages, Wikipedia and stuff like that. So we kinda wanna like steer away from it a little bit more. So you know, you might see us under a different name in the future. The distant yeah, yeah, probably distant Next, future. I maybe maybe like six to twelve months. Yeah, twenty twenty. If we we'll end what up happens. if we end up going into that. Yeah. But um I, yeah, I guess it, I guess it really depends. Yeah, really depends on how it all goes. Yeah, yeah. I'll see. How it... Yeah. And there's the there's the issue of the the Kush Kingdom in America too. <laughs> yeah, that too. Yeah. The, yeah. the the dispensary turned clothing line. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> yeah. So they're um they they seem they're like this like really cool like smokers brand like mm. they got some really dope like I watched one of the videos on like a trailer for their store I think and they're like smoking weed and got these like badass shirts and it's all about like yeah cannabis consumption and they look great man they look great Mm. so I thought it's kind of cool because like it's two different sides of the same thing it's almost like an evil twin in a way so like (laughs) we got like kind of like with hemp and cannabis like marijuana so we're like kind of like hemp and they're kind of like cannabis and it's misunderstood and there's like the separation, but it's really the same thing. So it's kind of cool and fun, but like... Maybe instead of rebranding, we should combine. Yeah, yeah. Join forces. Yeah. <laughs> no, um, yeah, there's that too. So we're kind of like figuring things out and seeing where we're going to go with it. Yeah. 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 Just like with just like with the podcast, just like with everything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Still figuring it out. But... Yeah. There might, there's a... There could be a chance that we might do these videos and podcasts on a different name because we kind of want to, um, mm. we kind of like discuss it really briefly, but we want to branch it out into like not just hemp, but like yeah. eco friendly things. So we can discuss more than just like the cannabis plant. We can discuss other things, um, get into bamboo and solar power and electric cars and, you know, anything that's good for anything, the environment. Yeah. That'd be cool to talk about. That, yeah, really, uh, I guess. Gives gives hope for that brighter future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we really want to push that that um, there's more things to be done. <laughs> yeah. So I think that covered most of it. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. 